Hi, I'm Douglas Ward with Taito Boxing, and I'm gonna show you today what I would consider to be three more advanced techniques on working the speed bag. Now, I'm not talking about uh, striking it backwards or, uh, or hitting it with your elbow or bouncing it with your head. Those are all very fun and cool, but they don't really apply to the sport. I'm gonna show you three things that can actually, you can apply that will make you a better fighter, that will enhance your training. The first one I like, I don't see a lot of guys do it anymore, but it's the forward strike. And what I like about that is you're striking with the, with the front of your hand, with the front of your fist. So you have to, have to naturally rotate your shoulder and come across your body just like you would when you're punching. What I like about this is you're striking with the front part of your hand, with your fist, with a hard fist. It's not as forgiving as the side of your fist, what you see a lot of people doing. They do this technique where every strike is with the side of their fist. When you incorporate your hand, it's harder and it increases the level of difficulty. The second technique is trapping the bag. This is, this is fun because it's very difficult. Your timing has to be perfect, but it also turns the speed bag into a power punching device. And you're basically just stopping the bag at the point of impact when it makes, when it makes contact with, with the platform itself. Again, you have to be punching perfectly. Everything has to be exact. You can't miss or you're gonna hit the platform. It, it just takes a lot of concentration and focus to get this right, but it's gonna add to your routine. The third technique is actually boxing the bag. This is really difficult because you're stepping away, you're furthering the distance between you and the speed bag. So it's maintaining the same amount of speed, but you have a longer distance to travel, so you've gotta get your punches off faster. You've gotta make contact, and you constantly have to, have to watch that bag and get that timing down to box it from a distance. But again, you're at long distance, you're using your jab, you're using a straight right hand, it's more boxing specific. This really plays into what you'd be doing in the gym, what you would be doing in, in, in the ring. It replicates real, actual fight technique, which I love about it. You know, there's the old age argument between yesterday's coaches and today's trainers, old time fighters and today's fighters, of whether the speed bag really has applications to the sport, if it has a place in your boxing training routine. And I say without question, yes because when you use it properly, like this, when you use proper boxing technique, proper form to execute those punches, it really applies to the sport. It has a place in your training routine and it will make you a better fighter.